Hello YouTube, this is a coffee review on Caribou Ground Coffee Real Inspiration. Or it is classified as a light roast. Bag claims to have a sweet and thought-provoking. I guess it sweet and thought-provoking flavor. According to the website, says Real Inspiration was created through a collaboration with Caribou fans on Pinterest. Caribou asks our fans to share what inspires them. From images to captions, Caribou Roast Masters created a unique coffee blend with the purpose of helping our fans to catch a moment of inspiration and to act upon these inspirations. This thought-provoking blend features Latin American coffee and a sweet, fragrant wash Ethiopian that offers some fruit and whiny notes to your cup. Each component coffee and real inspiration blend is an example of the brightness and clarity provided by a careful wash coffee process. And so this is kind of getting boring here. And it is not quite a dead center medium, but it leans onto the light side. They, of course, gave it a five bean rating. Please understand this is coming from their website. Now, the bag note from this particular blend is not bad. It's very light and very earthy. I'm not catching any fruity or whiny notes into this. Maybe some whining notes, but no whiny notes. But it smells just like you'd expect out of any other regular coffee. But very light. It doesn't stay in the nose very long. It's not very deep. It's almost uh, surfacey, earthy. Like, just with a coffee overtone. There we go. It's been about four minutes. Has a nice uh, dark color to it. Got my cup. It is a dark chocolate coloring. Actually has a head to it. Hmm, some beers be proud. Looking at it as if it was a beer, it's got a tight lace. But uh, yeah, there's a slight hue of red, ever so slight. But all in all, it is a, uh, a dark brown. Now it smells almost savory. A meaty type of smell to it. You can uh, smell some brightness into it, a little bit of acidity. And there is a touch of fruity. But mostly bean. Not coffee bean. Bean uh, smell to it. Like you'd smell in um, uh, Franks and beans. It is definitely bright. As in it has a bit of a sidicky to it. it. Does stay on the palate longer than I expected. Considering that the odor itself is rather uh, brief, it stays on the tongue. That earthy type taste, or that earthiness that you get you got from the smell, it does not transmit to the taste at all. It's um, vaguely fruity, it hides in the background, but it's mostly what they call bright. It's, it has that acidity to it. Now, being that it stays on the tongue, one would expect it to kind of mount up and get more bitter as it goes along. This doesn't. It actually hits your tongue, stays there, and uh, then does an eventual fade 
but does not become obtrusive. It just stays at a constant level. So it's not too bad if you want to drink it, drink it straight. Yeah. It uh, does not want to mount up onto itself. So the bitterness stays at a, at a nice level. The acidity stays at a faint level and it starts to drop a little bit. But it does linger on the palate, so keep that in mind. I've had this with uh, the standard sugar, sugar and cream, and it comes out very well with that. I myself like uh, the darker coffees, uh, things with body to it. And though this does not have as much body as those darker blends, it does uh, make for a quite refreshing cup of coffee in the morning if it's, you're looking for something quick to grab and go. Like I said that it lingers long on the palate now, but when I had the sugar and cream with it, it didn't. It was quick to come off the tongue. So apparently the sugar is the balancing. But not bad. Like I said, they're, uh, they're darker blends. I have a much more of a taste for. This lighter blend isn't all that bad. Give it a try. See what you guys think. It is... Caribou. Uh, real inspiration. See what you think. Write down in the comments down below. Or make a video yourself reviewing this product. And until next time, keep on drinking.